Hi guys, welcome to this channel. If you are new here, kindly subscribe and click the bell notification button to get updated on all our new videos. Nollywood screen diva Omotola Jalade Ekeinde and her family no longer live in Nigeria as she has now confirmed that they have located to the United States. Reports, which claims that the actress had relocated to the United States, first made headlines in 2011. It was reported at the time that she was making effort to break into Hollywood with the help of a talent aunt manager. Omotola Jalade Ekeinde made her acting debut in Hollywood in 2013 in a VH1 drama series titled Eat the Floor. However, after being spotted with her family on Sunday, September 24, 2022, at a church service in West Hollywood, Omosola Jalade Ekeinde has now confirmed that she and her family have relocated to the United States. When asked by the nation if they are in the North American country for holiday, she responded saying, No, we live here now. Omotola Jalade Ekeinde, born Omotola Jalade, 7 February 1978, is a Nigerian actress, singer, philanthropist, and former model. Since her Hollywood film debut in 1995, Omotola Jalade Ekeinde has appeared in over 300 films, selling millions of copies. Omotola Jalade is the second Nigerian and first Nigerian celebrity to receive over 1 million likes on her Facebook page. She currently has a total of 3 million followers on Facebook. In 2013, she was included in Time magazine list of the 100 most influential people in the world. In 2013, Omotola Jalade Ekeide made a brief appearance on VH1 scripted series eat the floor. On 2nd November 2013, she spoke at the 2013 edition of the Y Summit held in Dora Quarter. In 2014, she was honored by the Nigerian government when she became a member of the Order of the Federal Republic MFR, for her contribution to Nigerian cinema. Omotola Jalade, who is of Ondo descent, was born in Lagos State. She grew up with her parents and two younger brothers, Tayo and Bola Jalade. Her mother, Oluwato Jalade, Ni Amori Ogutade, worked at JT Charia, Nigeria, and her father, Oluwashola Jalade, worked at the YMCA and the Lagos Country Club. She attended Chrisland School of Baby in 1981 to 1987. Osford Children's School in 1987, Santos House and Command Secondary School, Cardinal in 1988 to 1993. She had a brief stint at Obafemi Aulori University and completed her studies at the Yabo College of Technology in 1996 to 2004, where she studied estate management. She originally wanted a career in business management. However, while waiting a result from the university, she began modeling to earn a living. Omotola Jalade Ekeinde launched a music career in 2005 with the release of a debut album titled Ba. The album produced the singles Nainjaloa and The Things You Do To Me. A released second album, Me, Myself and Eyes, brought in production from Paul Clay and Delby. It was supported by the songs Feel Rap Eyes featuring Harrison and Through the Fire featuring UJ. In late 2012, Omar Jalade began working on a third album and enlisted the help of the Bridge Entertainment. She went to Atlanta, Georgia in the United States to work with producers and songwriters who could help create a sound that resonates with American audiences. 
She has studio session with Kendrick Dream, Drama Boy, and Vaz Simmons, and recorded a song with singer Bobby V. In 2012, Omos Large Lady also launched the reality television show Omosola The Real Me and African Magic Entertainment, a MNET subsidiary broadcast on DSTV. She was a Nigerian celebrity star in her own reality show. Omotola Jilade Ekende became a United Nations World Food Programming Ambassador in 2005, going to mission in Sierra Leone and Liberia. She also supports organizations such as Charles Odis SME 100 Africa to empower youth and young women in society. She has been active in the work the world project and participated in the work the world campaign in Liberia with President Ellen Johnson Salif. A woman rights campaign worked in centers on an NGO project called the Omotola Youth Empowerment Program. Oh, yep. This undertaking brought hundreds of youth together for the empowerment work and convention. She lent her voice in 2010 to the Rewrite the Future campaign to serve the children, UK. She became the Amnesty International campaigner in 2011 and has participated in campaign in Syria alone, maternal mortality, and in 2012 campaign for Niger Delta in Nigeria, where she shot a video asking Shell PLC and the government to own up, clean up, pay up and take responsibility for the oil spills in the Niger Delta. In June 2020, she visited an orphanage home in Tanzania, run by Tanzania Mitsindo House, which focuses on HIV-infected children, with Tanzania actress Wema Sepetu. To promote the 2021 World No Tobacco Day and the Ash Smoke Free Nollywood campaign, Motola Ekende and actor Dakore Ebusin Akonde, Daniel F. Young, Ment Otanwa, Michel Dede, or Sars Igbodaro, played to stop smoking in their movie scenes and has had a negative influence on young kids who look up to them. The campaign was backed up by US non profit organization Tobacco Free Kids and a sub Sahara public strategy firm. Gatefield. Omot Lauj Lade Ekende has a regular column in OK Nigerian magazine titled Omot Lauj Diary, which featured writing about her life and experiences. On 5 November 2013, she received the Ebony Vanguard Award at the Music Video and Screens Award held in Birmingham, England. On November 9, 2013, over Victor Kiladejo. The Royal King of Ondo Kingdom conferred the Omotola a chief title in an hometown of Ondo State. In 2012, CNN Travel included a candidate's essence on the list of the world's 12 sexiest essence. The Nigerian essence ranked 5th on the list. In 2013, she was included in Time Magazine list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Omotola Ekende was included in the list of top 100 most influential African by New African Magazine in 2013. In 2015, she was listed among the highest grossing movie actors. Others on the list included Sharon Ken, Frank Welker, Bob Megan, Jack Angel, Mickey M. Gowan, Michael Papadron. Martin Kleber, Clint Howard, and Chris Ellis. This listing was compiled and researched by Yahoo. Amot Laude married Captain Matthew Ekende in 1996. Together, they have four children, two girls and two boys. Well guys, there you have it. The Nollywood screen diva, Amot Laude Ekende, and a family no longer live in Nigeria, as she now has confirmed that they have relocated to the United States. And reports which claims that the actress had relocated to the United States 
first made headlines in 2021. Thank you all for listening to that and please don't forget to like, subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.